Okay, our signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love message. This is for Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so very much for coming to my channel. While I bring you your daily love message. All right, let's get started. The first card will be the uh, situation of your current energy or of your current relationship, which has a lot of confusion centered around it. A lot of choices, a lot of options. Um, just be cautious that not all decisions that you make um, are worth the the outcome. I guess you could say. Um, you know, all decisions have a consequence, whether good or bad. So be cautious um, of what you're choosing to do. Um, there is one person in your options that uh, is your true, true life partner, your true um, person that you're meant to spend this life with. Um, and there's a lot of people in your space that are trying to confuse you, trying to make you believe um, different illusions delusions, uh, confusions. So just be cautious of that earth signs. All right. So the energy you are bringing to this situation is you're coming out of a time of delay, a time of pause. Um, you, uh, had a lot of confusion and you had a lot of options and you recognize this, you knew this earth signs. So you intentionally put your your energy, um, yourself in this time of pause, taking a step back, looking at uh, all options from a different viewpoint, trying to get a grasp on what is going on in your life, uh, try to get some healing from some past uh, situations possibly, um, but mostly trying to get rid of the confusion that you were recognizing in your life. You didn't know who you wanted to pick. Um, you could have been with somebody and you retreated due to um, this confusion, due to uh, getting out of your comfort zone. But most importantly, uh, you needed some healing. So put, being in this delay is exactly what you needed. Um, but you're coming out of that because in this time of pause, in this time of um, hanged man, you really became enlightened to what your choice needed to be. The person you are dealing with, what they are bringing to this situation, could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What is Earth Signs person bringing to this situation? Thank you. All right, they have already also been in a time of pause. Uh, they needed a lot of healing as well. The two of you have hurt each other a lot in the past. Um, whether, uh, well, not necessarily hurt each other a lot, but there's a lot of hurt within the two of you that you needed to heal from, whether it be from each other or other situations. Um, but this person also took a step back. I do feel that this person, you or sign, or you're very confused at your options. You took a step back, took a pause from this person, causing this person to need some healing. Um, because this person is the one that had the broken heart and had to heal from that with the four of swords, um, coming out of this, uh, four of swords with their ace of swords, their truth. So, um, I do feel that earth sign, you were the one that caused this person some hurt. Um, they took the time that you, uh, put in pause to, uh, find healing for themselves. Um, your block is either yourself, you're blocking yourself, you're standing in your own way, or signs, or you're with another uh, person that you have a home with, somebody that you have had to nurture a separate relationship from this person. Um, let's see what this other person's block is. What is the other person's block to this relationship coming to a better place, coming out of confusion. Thank you. All right. So they have been in their head a lot. Their block is they are overthinking the situation, overthinking what is going on between you two, overthinking your delay, overthinking you taking a step back from this relationship. Um, now, this may not be for everybody, but for some of you, you are already married. You are already in a relationship, if not married, a long-term commitment that you had a home with, somebody you shared a home with. Um, you had a lot of options outside of that person that you were um, nurturing a relationship and a home life with. Um, 
you could have now I said before I this card even these cards even came out you could have been with somebody and you retreated and went back to somebody else due to fear of getting out of your comfort zone um, that is exactly what this situation is telling me you could have left this person going back to somebody else that you had a home with because you were comfortable there financially and because they nurtured you it's almost like a mom like situation not a mom, but they take care of you. They make sure the bills are paid. They make sure your supper is made. They make sure your laundry is done. They make sure there's a home for you to come home to. And um, so you went back to think uh, what you wanted to do with all these options to somewhere that was stable, somebody that took care of you, made sure everything was okay, um, and allowed you to have all these other options. Now, this person, um, they found some healing. Their block was they were all up in their head, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression about you walking away from them and going back to this home. Um, let's see what spirits advice is for you or science. Now, remember these situations can be vice versa. Uh, make sure you just, uh, uh, you put your energy on the side that it fits most relevant with you. Um, okay. So spirits advice is to balance out this karma. The, the justice card is all about karma at the end of the day, doing the right thing, doing what is right for you. With this Ace of Swords, they always live in their truth. With their scales, they always do what is right and balanced in their own life. What is going to bring them balance and security? What is going to bring them balance in their emotions, their thoughts, their their actions? Um, so uh, Spirit's advice for you is to cut yourself out of this situation um, that is bringing you this imbalance, that is causing you this confusion. Um, for some of you, this means getting a divorce. For some of you, this means um, coming to a place where the, the energy in your own life is balanced out. Um, because you're out of balance, you're confused, somebody is creating these illusions in your head, causing this confusion to intensify. And, <clears throat> and it's time to live your truth. Um, there's a reason why you're confused by all these options. There's a reason why something doesn't feel right because something isn't right. One of these options is your true life partner. All the other ones are bullshit. All the other ones come at a price if you pick them. Um, and it's just, it's, it's not... It's not going to get any better until you live your truth. Once you step into that balanced um, life with, with your sword in hand and refuse to do anything else but what is best for you, there's going to be that confusion. Um, you know, so it's called, Spirit's advice for you is to get out of the situation that you're so confused about um, because obviously this isn't your where you're meant to be or the confusion wouldn't be there because the truth, the, the fog would lift if you are living in your truth, because once you have that ace of swords, there is no confusion. Um, so, you know, for some of you that's calling for you to get a divorce for some of you, that's calling for you to balance out your energy and speak up and live your truth. Now, uh, Spears advice on this side is to allow those swords to fall out of that heart. There's a lot of thoughts here. This person is very up in their head about this connection. They don't see what the confusion is. It's like, you know, why is there so much confusion? Either you want to be with me or you don't. Why this back and forth energy? Why this pause? Why this other person in the situation or other people? Um, so Spirit's advice for you, if you fall on this side, is to allow your heart to heal, to get out of your head, to realize that you are not tied and bound by this situation. That if this situation brings you heartache, to cut yourself away from that, untie those bond, those ties, and allow this heart to heal. Um, because there shouldn't be this heartbreak um, between the two of you, uh, or there shouldn't be this imbalance between the two of you. Let's see what your outcome is. What is the outcome of this relationship or the situation? Oops. Oh my goodness. You guys got cards flying everywhere. All right. What's the outcome of Earth Science situation? It's causing so much confusion. All right. The Knight of Pentacles clarified with the Page of Rods and the Sun. Okay. So, okay. 
all right, you are going to get out of this situation, uh, earth signs, you are. Um, you're going to realize the burden that this situation is causing. You are going to move away from a current situation that you have a home with. Um, you are going to allow the choice to be made between lovers, um, causing a lot of celebration, um, but finding that working with the divine instead of against it is um, a lot easier, allowing this transformation and blessings to come in when you go with the flow. But that's long-term energy. Let's see what's happening in the short term. You're going to slowly move to a more stable ground. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is the best night to have. It is the slowest, but it's the only one that makes it to the finish line. So you are going to see this through. You are going to figure out the confusion. Um, the Ace of Pentacles also, um, or the Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, also um, makes very calculated steps. So you are going to, you are going to shift through this confusion. You are going to see what's the bullshit and what isn't. You are going to get this justice and balance out your karma. Um, but it may take this person walking away before you realize what an impact this person made in your life um, because they are going to let their heart heal. And that may be without you because there's been a lot of swords in them. Um, you know, nine, four, seven, 16 swords in this situation, you know, that's dead and gone. Uh, but they still love you. That's why this is so hard for them. Um, so, you are going to get through this confusion. Um, you are going to move towards this person. I do feel with their back against this queen. They, You are going to move towards this person. Um, it could be a fire sign or an air sign. Those are the only two signs I see here. Um, if it's a fire sign, they have a lot of thoughts, uh, a lot of worry about this situation. But but it is, you are going to reach out to this person. You are going to send a message to this person, letting them know, even if I can't make it there right now, I am coming. I have some shit I have to deal with at home, but I am coming in your direction. And uh, Leo here with the sun, but the sun is going to illuminate some things for you, earth sign. It is going to help you see what has to be done just get this justice now if this is the same person that you have a home with um you are going to um see the truth in which direction to move towards for the majority of you i do see you moving out of this home though and away from this connection and into this connection um because the sun is going to light your path. Um, it's going to get you where you need to be in order for this confusion to subside and get you to your life partner. Um, this is also giving you the courage and the strength to move into a path that you want. Not living a life for anybody else, but for what you want. Um, yeah, and it is going to move into a stable connection with somebody that you're at a distance from. Wow, and I don't even know why I just threw the, drew those cards off the top, but I did. Um, it is going to move you... Oh, I know, because I don't like to. I don't like to end on a major arcana, but we're gonna hear. So, the Knight of Pentacles. You're moving forward towards this person. Could be a fire sign. If not a fire sign, it's somebody that you hold a lot of passion for and a special place in your heart. Um, it is going to move you in the right direction, getting you on the same path, um, putting you. See the two people. They're finding each other on that path again. The two of you could have been separated, but you're coming back together. Um, Moving into a more committed relationship because you feel the divine connection between the two of you could be a twin flame. Um, it's very iffy though, but this is kind of reflective of a twin flame journey with all the, the hurt and all the shit that goes on on that. Sorry, pardon my language, but um, it, either way, it's going to move you into a more divine connection. Um, with this person. Um, this person is at a distance from you right now. The two of you are not living together. They are your blessing that is coming in. Your ships will come in when you move in the direction that you are meant to, when you get in your right path. And it's ultimately going to lead you to the Ten of Cups, this ultimate happiness. The Ten of Cups is a twin flame card for me um, with the sun especially. But this is getting in the right path of healing, getting rid of all this confusion, shift, sifting through the bullshit and finding who 
your blessing really is. Finding who this really holds your heart and the key to your happiness. Um, because the Hierophant here holds the keys. So this is what you're moving towards. But you have to you have to move in that direction first. You have to let them know what's going on. You have to get in the same path that is being illuminated for you. The universe is at your back. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, um, in the whole deck of tarot. Um, and it's only going to lead you to beautiful places. But you have to seek this justice first. You have to balance things out, deal with your karma, and walk and talk your truth. Not someone else's truth. Your truth, Earth Science. So get rid of all this confusion. Um, you are getting out of this time of pause. So move forward. Allow this person or let this person know what's going on and um, begin to work through these uh, illusions that you're holding on to and, uh, and walk in that path of healing, in that path of light, because the universe is illuminating it for you. Let's see where you're at with the, in the journey um, with our Sacred Traveler deck. Oops. Spirit and Angels, let's get one card for our Earth Signs, please, for where they're at in the journey. Where are they at in their spiritual journey? That was already flipped. Where are they at? Whoa. Okay. Take your first step. Begin now. Wow. There's that sun card. And rejuvenating rain. Clear the past and heal the present. Holy shit. That is for the person on the right. The person on the left is the begin now and your outcome and middle card is choosing your path all is possible well that doesn't just say exactly what i just said <laughs> let's see what the book says about that um begin now this is your card or sign or whoever resonated with the uh, left hand side if you are um cross watching so it says it, every journey starts with the first step there's no moment better than the present one to begin. You might not feel ready, but nonetheless, it is now time to start. A new cycle is beginning. Wipe the slate clean and get going. Release familiar routines, stagnant situations, and a current challenging relationship that no longer is here to support or empower you. You are at the end of an old cycle and beginning a new and exciting one. Set your sails for the new horizon. There you go, Earth Signs. And the card on the left side, Rejuvenating Rain. Physical and emotional healing is occurring. Wow. This side had the Three of Swords in reverse. There is a cleansing and clearing of the old emotional wounds. And even a release of past life traumas or past life limitations is happening. All is forgiven now. Above all, observe, absolve yourself. Forgive others and their transgressions against you. It is a time to let it all go so you can begin a new path with this person. In order for new growth to occur, you must you must be cleared away. This card indicates it's a time for clearing out what doesn't serve or support you. And it also is indicating the clutter clearing from your life, the confusion subsiding. If you don't love it or use it, it is more than likely ready to get rid of. It is now an indication that to clear the emotional clutter, to allow the rain to purify and cleanse you in the deepest way. This is also a great time to go on a cleansing and clearing of your body of old emotions and challenges in your energy field. Use water for cleansing your energy right now. Stand in a cold shower, swim in the sea, or run in the rain because your journey is about to begin. Wow. So amazing when they match the reading so well. All right. And your guys' center card together. This is the card that um, signifies your current or your situation together. No new vistas are ahead and you have the power to choose. And within you is this freedom. Do not allow the restrictions and limitations placed on you by the expectations of others on your path. Be daring. Cast aside, con con ugh, cast aside conventions and restrictions. Dance, laugh, and explore together. Go beyond your predictable behavior. Say yes to life. You support others in stepping into your freedom. 
Choose life on your terms. Move beyond those situations that you've outgrown, including relationships. Sometimes to be free, the traveler needs to put down his pack and just keep walking. There are times in life and ordinary there are times to live in ordinary life, but there are also times to cast ordinary things aside and fling your arms to the heavens in joy. You're not on this planet to always meet the needs and expectations of others. You're here to explore, expand, and step into your extraordinary self. Don't unconditionally accept the rules that have been placed on your life by you or others. Now is the time that you choose a pathway to lead to greater freedom, greater happiness, and a greater love above all with the person you're meant to share your path truly with. Earth signs. Holy cow. I encourage you to rewatch this reading and see how these cards match both sides. And you've seen me shuffle. You've seen them come out. This is the amazing messages of the divine when you choose to listen. It's time to go, Earth Science. It's time to be on your own path for you, not for anybody else, but for you. And you know the person that is meant to walk that path with you. So it's time to begin now to let go of the old and welcome the new for the one that has been hurt in the past to rejuvenate and to let the hurt go in that water, that cleansing water, so the two of you can begin and choose your path together because all things are possible. All right, Earth Science, have a beautiful day. God bless.